After nearly 5 years of waiting, the first customer will finally receive Tesla's electric semi-truck. Many long-standing rivals were alarmed by the introduction of the Tesla Semi, especially Mac, a truck manufacturer for 117 years. With its acceleration taking just 5 seconds, the Tesla Semi stands out as a promising contender. The Mac Anthem truck, on the other hand, is also introduced by Mac as a highway beast with a strength unmatched by any other vehicle. How then can Tesla Semi defeat Mac Anthem? a potent fuel-powered rival. With its innovative and effective passenger cars, Tesla has completely changed the world of electric mobility. The Semi is not just any truck. It is a freight-hauling cargo vehicle with zero emissions that outperforms conventional oil guzzlers like the Mac Anthem in all areas, including performance, payload, speed, interior, technology, economy, and operational costs. How then is the Tesla Semi's electric motor more potent than the Mac Anthem's? We also have four independent motors. There's a motor on each of the rear wheels and an independent front suspension, so it's incredible. Tesla changed a few things about the prototype. The Semi will have three separate electric motors on the rear axles rather than four. The motors are said to be the same as those found in the Tesla Model 3 electric sedan despite the lack of information regarding horsepower and torque figures. When the losses associated with connecting the motors were taken into account, independent dynamometer tests of the Model 3 motors revealed that they can produce up to 300 horsepower and 550 pound-feet of torque multiplied by 3. Additionally, it's probably safe to anticipate that the Semi will produce at least close to 900 horsepower and 1,600 pound-feet of torque. The MP7, MP8, and MP8 HE Mac diesel are the only ones available for the Anthem. The Anthem's base engine is the Mac MP7. It has an inline six cylinder diesel engine with an overhead cam and 659 cubic inches of displacement. It produces 1,260 to 1,560 pound feet of torque and 325 to 425 horsepower. Additionally, the 2023 Mac Anthem's version's 13-liter Mac MP8 has been upgraded to give drivers 505 horsepower and 1,860 pound-feet of torque. According to Mac Trucks, the Anthem is prepared to handle a variety of transport applications, including B-double highway haulers and vocational rigid rolls. However, we can see that with 395 horsepower, Tesla's engine is more potent than the most recent Mac Anthem model. Then, is there any chance that the Mac Anthem will accelerate faster than the Tesla Semi? And how quickly are these two trucks traveling? We want a vehicle that feels incredible, that accelerates like nothing else. Without the payload, the Tesla Semi could reach 60 miles per hour in just 5 seconds, comparable to a mid-range sports car. It should be able to accomplish the same feat in just 20 seconds. Yes, that is relatively slow compared to the average car today. But the Mac Anthem was three times faster. That speed can be reached by the Mac Anthem in more than 60 seconds. Mac engineers also changed the hood and grille, fairing mirror covers, the front bumper, and the air dam to more easily cut through the wind, though the Tesla Semi is still faster. What allows the Tesla Semi to accelerate so quickly then? The Semi's unique design allows for improved performance. This truck's nose is blocked off and it has a small air intake on the chin to cool the battery, which is located between the front and rear axles. The drug coefficient of the Mac Anthem ranges from 0.65 to 0.7. The drag of the Tesla Semi is 0.36 which is lower than that of the Bugatti Chiron's 0.38 and reduces the drag of a typical diesel truck by half. The Tesla Semi has a 0.36 rack over the wave. This is a really good number. Tonnage goods are transported using trucks, which is essential to their success. Which truck therefore has a bigger capacity? According to the automaker, the Tesla Semi will be able to transport a payload that is at least equivalent to that of a Class 8 diesel truck. 
The gross combination weight of the truck and trailer combined with the Tesla Semi's fully loaded cargo is 82,000 pounds. For comparison, the Mac Anthem's maximum loaded weight is 62,000 pounds and its maximum trailer weight is 80,000 pounds. The Tesla Semi can carry 83 packs of Pepsi, each containing 24 cans, for a payload of more than 2,000 pounds. The interior is yet another crucial factor. What distinguishes Mac, an established manufacturer, from Tesla, a newer manufacturer of trucks? The interior of the Tesla Semi is special. According to Tesla, the driver's seat is positioned in the middle of the vehicle, which improves overall visibility out the windshield. Two additional foldable seats are located behind the driver's seat. On either side of the steering wheel, there are two 15-inch screens, as demonstrated by Tesla. The traditional launcher found in today's Teslas with access to music, phones, cabin supplies, and other features appears to be on the display to the right. The bottom of the left side has truck-specific features, such as functions for the air supply, trailer, parking brake, and tire PSI. Let's switch to the Mac Anthem now. What makes its interior so unique? It seems more traditional inside the Mac. The custom ISRI-made driver's seat is supportive and comfortable, with lots of adjustment. You can really customize the truck for a comfortable drive thanks to the foot lever above the accelerator that allows you to adjust the flat-bottom steering wheel. Unexpectedly, there isn't a sizable infotainment screen like there is in the Tesla Semi. In Mac slang, the screen, also known as the co-pilot, is located between the speedometer and the taco. The 5-inch color display provides truck information such as pre-tip light inspection, trip computer fuel usage, and distance to empty, in addition to a wealth of other helpful data. The HVAC and shifter controls have been moved closer to the seats, and the instrument panel has been raised to be more in the driver's forward line of sight. The Mac Anthem is a wise choice if you love classic instead of the more contemporary Tesla Semi. As truckers spend more time on the road and need a place to rest or at least take a break, a designated space becomes even more crucial. Because of this, the majority of trailer trucks now include a sleeper cab. How will the Tesla Semis and Mac Anthem's sleeping quarters or sleeper cabs be constructed? The sleeper cab portion of the Tesla Semi has not been visible in videos or pictures. However, the Semi can travel for extended distances without stopping, necessitating the use of a sleeper. Unlike the Anthem, which has been operated on the road, there is enough room behind the cockpit to accommodate a sleeping area in a black box above the second cabin. This truck can be ordered in a variety of configurations, including a day cab, a 48-inch flat-top sleeper, and a 70-inch stand-up sleeper. The emphasis of the new sleeping and driving environments is on enhancing driver productivity and comfort. There is 1.8 meters of headroom in the cockpit and 2.1 meters in the sleeping area of the cab. In the driver's compartment, the additional overhead space allows for more storage. While in the bunk, the standard inner spring mattress is located above. There are sturdy overhead storage cabinets. The new sleeper cab also has USB charging ports, the 12 volt power outlets, and LED courtesy lighting. The option of a slide out under bunk refrigerator is also available. By raising the bed, exterior locker boxes can also be reached from the truck's interior. Which truck is the safer option? The Tesla Semi will make significant advancements in safety as well. The Semi is equipped with the same safety features as Tesla's current models, standards that have brought Tesla countless awards. The Semi has improved forward collision warning, automatic emergency braking, automatic lane keeping, and autopilot. The Tesla Semi will maintain its lane position, slow down, and gradually stop and automatically call an emergency number if it detects no driver input. The Semi has improved traction control to stop it from jackknifing. The unusual folding of highly articulated vehicles such as trailers is referred to as jackknifing. 
It happens when the heavy trailers force the truck to bend at an unnatural angles due to uncontrollable inertia, frequently resulting in accidents. Engineers at Tesla have implemented a sophisticated traction control system that completely prevents jackknifing. Comparatively speaking, the Mac Anthem employs the Bendix Wingman Fusion, a camera and radar-based system that has the ability to prevent collisions, provide adaptive cruise control, and warn of lane departures. Additionally, the Anthem model used in both programs has a specification for Mac Road Stability Advantage by Bendix, a fully electronic stability control system to help reduce the likelihood of a rollover or jack nut incident. All models of the Mac Anthem come standard with these systems. Musk also asserted that the Semi would never need its brake pads changed. The vehicle automatically slowed down by brake energy regeneration, which recaptures lost kinetic energy and stores it as electrical energy in the battery. It's not a challenging truck to drive compared to the Mac Anthem. Actually, it's incredibly easy. However, if and when necessary, you can exert more control and drive it like a manual, or you can fully utilize the Mac Power Leash engine brake. When combined with the Cruise, the Power Leash is a three stage engine brake that can prevent you from going too fast downhill and provide engine braking for slowing down through towns and other places. The engine brake and automatic downshifts will start to slow the vehicle with a simple tap of the service brakes while the engine brake is fully engaged. Although each type of truck has its own systems, the Tesla Semi seems to always be at the cutting edge of technology. The Semi is said to be the safest and most comfortable truck ever. Now, before we talk about the investment or financial side of both trucks, please give this a thumbs up if you're enjoying it so far. And stay tuned until the very end to find out the latest status of Tesla's semi delivery. Which one is a wiser financial decision? Prices for the Tesla semi have been released and are extremely affordable. Starting at $150,000, a Tesla semi with a 300 mile range is available. For $180,000, Tesla also sells a 500 mile version of the semi with a higher range. The price of a Tesla Semi would only range from roughly $110,000 to $140,000 thanks to the recently passed Inflation Reduction Act, which includes a $40,000 tax credit for the purchase of heavy electric vehicles. The Mac Anthem is a versatile truck with day cab and sleeper options. Sleeper models typically start around $140,000, while day cab models may start around $100,000. For further comparison, the cost of a Freightliner Cascadia, one of the most well-liked semis currently on the road, ranges from $130,000 to $160,000. Tesla therefore seems to be priced within a typical range for the industry. According to Tesla, the cost of operating diesel trucks is 20% higher over the long term. The electric truck would only require a small portion of its counterpart's budget to travel 200 miles. A car with an internal combustion engine would specifically need about 34 gallons or almost 127 liters of diesel to complete the trip. It would travel 5.9 miles per gallon on average. It is currently $4.99 when factoring in the cost of a gallon of diesel and toll roads. God oh God. The trip would cost $169.76 in fuel, according to the United States Energy Information Administration, to travel 200 miles. When analyzing the Tesla Semi case, we use the manufacturer's stated consumption of less than 2 kilowatt hours per mile as a benchmark and for convenience's sake, rounded it up to 2 full kilowatt hours. Thus, 400 kilowatt hours would be needed to travel the 200 miles off the route, which when multiplied by the cost of 7 cents per kilowatt hour, results in a travel cost of only $28. And based on the calculations, the Tesla Semi would only need to spend 16.5% of what a dealer truck would cover the distance. That is quite insane. So, how are the Tesla Semi deliveries going? Five years later, Tesla is preparing to deliver the first semi to customers on December 1st. 
this year 2022. In order to do this, it is holding a delivery event at its factory in Nevada, which is building the initial batch of Tesla semi-trucks. Through its official Twitter account, the business made this announcement. The photograph in the post shows a Tesla Semi's front with its headlights on. The sensor seating arrangement, which differs from that of many other semi-trucks in the industry, is also shown in the image. The red seat belt, which is Tesla's primary brand color, is also displayed on the seat. The Tesla CEO will also make an effort to leave his Twitter responsibilities behind in order to make it to the event and perform the handover to the first customer. During the third quarter earnings call last month, Musk reaffirmed this. On December 1, we will give Pepsi our first batch of Tesla semis. I'll actually be there. This is an exciting new chapter for Tesla as they enter a market that is currently dominated by established brands. The Tesla semi will be able to change the market, generating a lot of attention and significant revenue sources for Tesla even though it does not currently have the first mover advantage because many traditional trucking companies are already building long-range, heavy-duty trucks as well as a large number of electric vans and smaller trucks. What are your thoughts on the collision between the Mac and the Tesla Semi? Which beast do you think is more powerful? Please share your opinions in the space provided below. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching. I'm Fred. Please subscribe to our channel for more technology updates and like and share this video. Now, do you want to find out why Tesla created and entered the industry of semi-truck? If yes, then click and watch the next video here.